Hi, my name is Jonathan Wilson on behalf of expertvillage.com and we're learning 30 must-have blues piano licks. Uh, we're in the easy ones. Uh, we're on to lick number three. Uh, this one, similar to the other ones, it's kind of nice because there's actually a variation to it. The basic pattern is just a set of, of descending thirds, kind of like the first lick, um, but it's straight quarter notes. You just play these on the beat. Um, as an alternative, uh, which I'll show you here, you can alternate with your thumb on the off beats uh, to, to play something that sort of offsets those thirds as descending. Uh, that's the way I'll play it here. If you want to, you can leave those C off beats out if you want. This lick works either way. Uh, but here it is with a metronome, slowly with the notation. Okay, again, it's pretty easy. Uh, same kind of thing. Anytime you're working with thirds, if you're a beginner, um, see if you can get your hand more involved rather than your fingers. Uh, finger strength is always a frustrating thing for all piano players, not just beginners. Um, but most advanced piano teachers will tell you that it's not so much about your fingers. Try to use your hand and your wrist. See if you can kind of get your fingers to act like points, in which case you just put the weight down and your points kind of do the work that way. Okay. So let's take this one, lick number three, up to full speed, over the full band. Sounds like this. still pretty easy, uh, but we'll keep things in this vein. Um, we'll, let's move right on to lick number four.